Hey, Janet. I have a little bit of time, so I thought it would be good to try to finish up this, the rest of these ATCs. I don't know if anybody else is online or streaming right now. I did not see anybody, so... Hopefully I'm... Oh, awesome, thank you. Hi, Ugly Bad Seed. Yes, I gotta finish these up. I'm trying to get my chat screen in a happy place here. Uh, I'm not sure how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, seventeen. Dare to be creative and Cheryl. I am glad to be here as well. <laughs> Let's see, these are the ones that I started the other day. I haven't finished, well, I did um, add the gold mica. Hi, Violet. I did add the gold mica to all of these. Um, Whenever I finished up the other day, I only finished up a couple completely, uh, just to kind of show you where I was at for a stopping point. I didn't finish all these in my stream, but I did um, off camera go ahead and put the gold mica flake on all of them and some white splatters. And then I went around the edges with my black my trusty black ink pad. So that's kind of where these are. Hi, Lisa. Um, so this is kind of what I have. I'm really shaky today. <laughs> um, let's see. So pardon my shaking. I don't know why I'm shaky. Yet. So this is where I'm at with these. And then I just need to add, I think this is one of my favorites. This one right here. Look how the doilies showed up. Those turned out really cool. I'd never put doilies on anything before. And then these are the paper reinforcers, the circles. I'm not sure how many of these I have, I forgot. Quite a few. I did, um, for a little while last night, try to go through my book and find some words to put on them, but I didn't have a whole lot of luck, so I kind of stopped, but I do have some that I clipped out. I'm trying to find positive phrases to put on here, so um, it's taking me a little bit longer, but I'll put book text on them and they'll end up basically looking like this because I like adding words to them. 
So that's those. And these started out the same way that these did, except on these I put some texture paste on them. So there's, yeah, just that one, I only used one stencil. So all of these have texture paste on them. Hi everybody who's coming in. I don't have a whole lot of time, but I wanted to try to start working on these guys for a bit. I need, I need my, yeah, we got I am getting thirsty, water. I'm not used to talking this much. <laughs> you gotta get your bubbly water. Okay, so, I think what I'm gonna do with these, at first I was just gonna do the same technique that I did on all these, which I just used, um, Acrylic artist inks. That's what these are all colored with. But I think I'm going to try to do something different. And I was. I actually honestly don't remember how I did this before, but a while ago, many years, I did. Um, you know what? I wonder if I can find an example. basket of goodies here. A lot of these are cards that I've made and a lot are ones that people have sent me. Like here's one of Edie's cards. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to do a glaze on these. And the last time I did it, and I do have a video for it somewhere, um, I the, the base of the card was actually a baby wipe. And then... I put some modeling paste on it, and then I uh, did the glaze. So, I really thought I had one in here. Well, this might be one of the examples. This is, well, uh, it's hard to tell. I know that's not on a baby, well, that might be on a baby wipe. Anyways, so that's my plan. And I don't exactly remember how I did it because I know that I was just kind of messing around. So that's what I'm going to do today. <laughs> My thought is to do like a base color on these first and just yellow and oranges. And I just kind of grabbed some of mine out of my drawer. So I've just got different yellows and oranges here. And then I'm going to go over it with probably a blue. I've got Payne's Gray here, which I love Payne's Gray, and it's deceiving because it's actually blue. Um, and I've got some phthalo blue, so I'll mix this with some glazing medium and put it over there and then kind of rub it off and reveal what's underneath. So that's where my brain's going. And I do have to say one thing. This is a corona-free zone. No talk about it whatsoever. I just ask you to respect that. I need this to be a nice, safe place with none of that for me. And I want that to be a safe, this to be a safe place where there's none of that here for you. We all need a break from it. So that is my only, only, only request with chat and you all and I just hope you respect that and understand why so that being said only happy thoughts and then I'm going to start with the lightest yellow 
I need to take my ring off. Maybe. I have been cleaning since I'm home. I work at my children's school in the cafeteria and I'm, I'm home. So I actually started doing some hardcore spring cleaning. I started yesterday. I'm trying to make the most out of all this and this is something that I've needed to do for a long time. So um, I started cleaning seriously yesterday. And I just did a little bit this morning and I thought, you know, I need to take a little bit of a break and work on this stuff. So I don't know how I want to spread this thing. use um I've got some beautiful deli paper from all the drips from these cards so these will I'll have to do a video and turn these guys into some cards so I think I'm gonna do the same with this it's a little bit harder with the paint because it's gonna soften up the deli paper I don't know if this is how I want to place this on here. I might use a brush. My thought in these is just, I guess light, light coming out of the center of them. And I do love my golden paints. Can you flip the light on for me, buddy? Yes, thank you. And I tend to go quiet when I work. So. I just don't want to be so loud that I can't do it, you know, just. You're okay, Olivia. I tend to not talk when I work because I just kind of start thinking about what I'm working on and what I'm doing and let's do it for you real quick. Did you do it? Okay. I just kind of, I start thinking about I guess not thinking about, but trying to listen to whatever thought comes to mind of what I need to do next. So if I listen to those things and just do it without questioning it, then it's a very, the process is a whole lot easier for me if I start thinking about things about if I start thinking hard about what I want to do next or what color of paint I want to do next or anything like that then it kind of it shuts me down so if anything over the years that I've learned about my process is if I get some weird idea in my head to try something or to add some weird color next or whatever. I don't question that anymore. I just do it. If it doesn't work, then you can cover it up. At least you tried. You listen to New Wave? That's awesome. <laughs> well, I am an 80s girl, so that is the other thing that's hard for me when I stream is because I always have music on when I work, when I create. So not having music on um, that can also kind of shut me down. It, when I listen to the music, it helps keep me out of my head. I was about to turn my music down. I was like, yeah, no, I don't want to get the copyrighted. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
so yeah, I I always have music on. So that's another thing that makes it really hard for me to stream. I have definitely have my um, routine when it comes to working on things. And that's the one I've done. This is my favorite yellow from Golden. I like the color Golden. Well, let me see if I can get it in there. I'm sorry. Once again, I'm on my phone. Oh, good heavens. I'm trying to get too close. There. This is my favorite yellow. Um, I don't have my camera, my video camera. I loaned it out to somebody who needed it much more than I do right now, so. Um, but, I know that we all need a place to create. So, I'm streaming from my phone. I'm just brushing this on however. I'm trying to do it quickly so it blends in a little bit. I don't know if I'm moving fast enough, honestly. I kind of forgot that I had so many cards sitting here. See, and this one's not glued down all the way. I'm gonna leave, I leave that like it is. I'm not gonna glue that down because that adds, that adds something to that card. Probably should have put some, I should have put some lotion on, some barrier lotion. Since I'm working with these paints, some of them aren't safe to get on your hands, especially the yellows. some right here on my desk. After I get this done, I'll probably put some on real quick because I can get stuff all over my hands. What's sad is that it's been so long since I've painted anything regularly that a lot of my things are dried up. That was kind of a harsh, um, you know, a harsh bit of reality for me when I noticed that. It showed me how long it really has been. just had this open and now it doesn't want to open. Oh, that's a different color. Oh well. Here. Okay, two more. I got two more and then I'm going to go wash my hands real quick and put on some berry lotion. I need to get some water too. I'm not really prepared. I kind of was like, okay, I'm ready to like start creating and I just grabbed my phone and plugged it in and here we are. So, all right, I'm going to go wash my hands really fast and put on some berry cream. And... We'll put the next layer on. I'll get some water.
to everybody who's coming in. I'm glad that you're here. Alright. I'm not a fan of wearing gloves. I like being able to touch and feel everything that I'm working on. So This is the next best thing. So I accidentally squirted out some of this Indian yellow hue, so we'll put some of that on. I want to get some, a little bit of orange, more orange on here. I'm trying to kind of keep the center brighter. But besides that, I'm really not thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just putting paint on. So many cards sitting around here. I'm running out of space. I need to move these. I got my barrier cream from Blix. Um, I imagine that other places have it. And I always forget to wear it. Um, I usually don't when I'm just doing working with regular acrylics, but when I'm using any of my golden paints, um, I try to remember to use it. And I love golden heavy body um, paints, so. It just helps protect your skin from, you know, things soaking in, especially with the yellows. A lot of them are not safe. You know, it has the warning on there that if you're in California, it's not safe. You can feel it on your hands. I mean, I can, I can feel it on my skin. Um, but it helps. I like the gold. Do you like the gold? Yes. Good. I think I'm going to put some orange on next. Hmm. That's what you're doing right now. Well, this is kind of a... Yeah, this is, we're slowly working our way to a brighter orange, a real orange. Like this orange. That's yellow. Oh, that's gold. Yeah, like this. Gold, golden. This one. That is orange. Actually, that's the same is this it just looks different because it's um that's this one Elliot's here going through my paints That is the whole idea. I need bright and sunshiny. Because that's what this is all about. Alright. 
all of those in that color. I had even I have not washed my brush yet at all. I'm just going from one color to the next. I might go over the middle again with just a little bit more of the brighter of the light yellow. But I don't know. We'll see. This one doesn't want to open. That's what happens when you don't use your paints for a year. Okay, don't watch. This is dangerous. What you do? <laughs> Tank it. There we go. Okay. There. You didn't see that, right? I saw that. <laughs> very saw that. It's not like I could have looked at your computer to see what you were doing. Okay. This is really, really, really bright, so I'm just going to use a bit. So, so far we've used... I already put the light one away. So far we've used these colors. You know, this is silly, but is there just really anything more beautiful than a squished up paint covered tube of paint? Those are the colors I've used. Mom. Oh, be careful with those. I'm giving those away. Okay. We're just keeping them here for now. All right. So you have a little place to keep them safe. I mean, yeah, really, look at this. I even think I have, like, I have one that I couldn't throw away. I think I have my original one of these of this color because I couldn't throw it away because this is like one of my favorite colors to use. I just couldn't bear to throw away that too. All right, so I mean, if these are wet, baby. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this bright orange on it. And I don't know how much of it's of it is even going to show up because I'm going to go around all of this with a glaze and rub stuff off and see what's underneath. Yeah, glue it to the canvas. I tell you, I really think I have it somewhere. I'm not sure where I put it though. If I did throw it away, I know it took me a long time before I finally threw it away. Because it was kind of one of those, this is really silly to be holding on to this tube of paint situations, but. You know, I, it was, it was one of the very first tubes of golden paint that I had bought and. Boy, I got every, every little bit of paint out of that thing too. None of it went to waste. That's why I do things on the deli paper too, is because I don't want any of it to go to waste. So I will save this piece of deli paper and use it to make more art. I'm sure it is an episode of Poor Grandia. Yeah. I can relate to that show way more than I want to admit to. A lot of the things that happen in that show Oh my goodness. I definitely fall into the crum the crunchy hipster uh you know I've always been like that. I've always been very granola, I guess. Granola, I guess is the phrase. Before it was granola, before it had a name. These are already starting to brighten my day. 
I need to try to move them over a bit so you can see what's beside me. It's quite amazing how color can change our mood. I'm not, I am kind of obsessive about keeping my area clean when I work. I didn't hear what you said, honey. Can we do a vlog or something? Like oh, that? you want to do a vlog? Elliot thinks that I should start vlogging. <laughs> Maybe this fun. summer. The crazy, our crazy life. It's still life, that's what he said. You are so right, Elliot. Sometimes you have some very, some great words of wisdom that come out. Our daily life can get pretty goofy, I'll just say that. <laughs> I try to do everything I can to keep things fun. Gracie, um, we got about I don't know, at least three inches of snow Friday night through Saturday. Woke up Saturday morning. I had to finally go ahead and wash my brush, but isn't it pretty? I should take a picture of that. Um, guess what I found? Uh, only bowl. Um, so we got like three or four inches of snow Friday night. Woke up Saturday. Absolutely beautiful outside because it was a real fluffy um, heavy snow so it was stuck to all of the tree branches and all the bushes and so everything was just covered it was beautiful beautiful um, like it was I get really wrapped up in stuff like that so it was hard for me to I had to we had to drive to the taekwondo and it was hard for me to drive because I couldn't stop looking at like the beauty of all the trees and everything but anyways um Gracie got it in her head that she needed to put her bathing suit on and go run outside in the backyard and do a snow angel in her bathing suit in the snow and so she challenged me to do it because she didn't think that I would but I did so those are some of the crazy things that happen in my house <laughs> I put my bathing suit on in the winter and did a snow angel in my backyard. Look at that. That's going to be pretty on a card. Gosh, when I started, very, very first started art journaling, um, yeah, Elliot was a newborn and Aren't the colors beautiful? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so Elliot was a newborn. You, yeah. When I first started, when I first found pa Paula Phillips is what got me started. It was winter. And, uh... Did I ever try to lick the paint? No, you didn't. <laughs> I was just asking, I was like... <laughs> um, that sounds like a being a baby. Would somehow I right. stumbled upon, um... My Ustream, and I found, you know, Paula, and I found Dee Dee, and started, um, yeah, streaming in the middle of the night, because that was when he was asleep and I could, and I had him in his little bassinet behind me, and I worked, and a lot of times I worked while I was actually holding him in my arms, did a lot of it one-handed. Many, many months of doing one-handed journaling while holding Elliot as a baby baby. And he just turned nine and the end of January. So that's how I know how long I've been doing all this because I've got him that helps me keep track of that time, which is crazy that he's already nine. Gracie's gonna be 12. 
She's already 11. There we go. All right, so that's where we are now. These are still a bit tacky. I'm going to go ahead and dry them a bit because when I put the glaze on, I'm going to rub it off, and I don't want to rub off any of this. I haven't decided if I should put a little bit more yellow in the center. I'm kind of thinking maybe I will. No, I'm gonna leave it alone. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try these. Windows of Sunshine. I absolutely love that. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to put that on the back of each of these cards. Oh, I need a pen. I love that. Oops. This is my super... Absolutely love that. I'm so glad you said that out loud. All right. We actually, we've been gloomy and cloudy for days and days and days here. And, uh, um, yesterday morning, we finally were out from underneath some of the clouds and got to see the sunshine for a little bit. living room it faces the south and I in my living room it's all it's all windows the whole wall almost from ceiling to floor and uh, the side window face to the east and so I was sitting on the couch and the sun's coming in and oh my goodness it felt so good it was hot and you know warm and so I ended up taking my shoes off, well, I'm taking my slippers off, and I went down, walked down out in the backyard and stood there barefoot in the frosty grass with wow. my face to the sun, <laughs> just stood there for a little bit and soaked it all in, because it felt so good. Okay. Well, your feet were freezing. My feet did get cold, but it was worth it, Elliot. It felt good. I needed, I needed that. All right, I think I'm gonna go with the phthalo blue. And this is a uh, fluid acrylic paint. And then I've got, I've got some glazy medium. I'm going to 
didn't get it. I, well, you know what? Let's use this. I hate to throw these lids away from all, all my candles. Obsessive recycler. <laughs> I don't like having to throw things away. Yeah, you can see the texture really coming out now. And this glaze should make it even pop out even more. And I know that this is plugged up, so I gotta do it this way. Hopefully, this isn't dried out too. Oh. I can still feel this lotion on my hands, <laughs> which for me can be bothersome because I feel things strongly in my fingers for sure. Kind of a little bit overly sensitive in that with that, so it's hard for me not to. Feel it. It's hard for me to ignore it. I guess I, I should say. This feels kind of sticky. It's thick. Okay. This is kind of one of those oh crap moments. <laughs> I really hope this is going to work out. But. It's like, oh, shoot. <laughs> Thanks, Elliot. But I've done something similar to this before, so hopefully this will all work out. It's kind of how I roll. Just don't panic. It's going to be okay. I kind of already have these envisioned in my head with, that they're all going to work out. And if they don't, then I'll just cover them up in gesso and go from there. So I'm really not concerned about it. Because either way, they'll work out. It just might end up being something completely different that I had first envisioned, and that's okay. Becky, what time are you coming on my time? I'm central, because I really won't be on here too terribly much longer. I don't know if I'll completely finish these, this go around um, 4 p.m. Okay, oh yeah, I'll, yeah, I will probably, I won't be on here very much longer. Um, my husband's out getting our taxes done right now. And on his way home, he's um, he's gonna pick up my mom and bring her over so that she she's kind of getting some some heavy duty cabin fever. She um, so I thought it'd be good for her to have a change of scenery. I've got a puzzle going, and she and I can knock out a puzzle like nobody's business. So um, she. Um, We've been through a whole heck of a lot with her since, um, I guess, probably August. And she's now being treated for bone marrow cancer. She's 
getting ready to start her second round of chemo on Friday. Um, and she's very active. She's always been very active. So not being able to, anyways, just in general, she hasn't can't get out anyway because she's been just too weak and tired to drive. Um, so that's kind of starting to drive her a bit insane. So I've been trying to... Well, I'm just barely going to have... I don't know if I can squeeze enough out of this. I've got two cards left. Ugh. Let's see if I can get this. No, there's not. There's just not going to be enough. Um, so anyways, she's already been home for over a month. Um, because she hasn't been able to drive. She's been too weak to drive, so... on my husband's way home from Texas, he's gonna go by and pick her up and bring her over. We can, I don't know. Like I said, we'll work on the puzzle, do some Scrabble, fun stuff like that. And it'll be good for her to get her out. All right. Ooh, I like, look at that, even just like that. I don't know if you can see it well. The color that it turned to teal, that's beautiful. All right, um, I can't waste any of that. Okay, let's see if there's a page in here that I can I don't waste anything. Even if this will all get covered up with something else, that's okay. Because I just cannot let that go to waste. Another reason why I like doing this is having these pieces of deli paper around with things with paint already on it. It can kind of help inspire me to get creative. It's got the challenge. See what I can do with it. Alright, I'm going to go put this in the sink. Okay. I'm going to put some more of this on just in case. Since I'm using gold in. Alright. 
So now I'm just going to take a baby wipe and start rubbing and we'll see what happens. I hope for the best. Why are you using white baby wipe? Because it takes off the paint. Okay. Just that. Yep. I'm going to try to not get overly aggressive with this, but I'm going to try to move fast too because it's drying a little bit quicker than I thought that it would. And I'm really going to be going through the wipes too. Last time I did this, I didn't do so many cards at the same time. So I really wasn't thinking about that. Half of these might work and half of them might end up getting covered with gesso. If they get covered with gesso, that's okay because Either way, this is going to be a really cool first layer for it. I don't know, I'm kind of liking it. I'm tempted to open up my window. For not knowing how these were going to turn out, I'm kind of liking them. bit too hard in some places going all the way down to the white but that's okay see that kind of adds to it the distressed look for sure Sherry. I'm just kind of rolling with it, hoping that my idea works. <laughs> this is one of those, this is what I'm going to try, but I don't know if it was how it's going to turn out situations today. I wasn't thinking that I am working on so many cards at the same time, so things dried a little bit more than I was planning on, especially these last few but I'm really liking how these are turning out. It's almost stained glass looking. But that's what it reminds me of. This one, I think this one was one of the first. bunch of blue baby wipes to make some cards with. I can have plenty of like leftover bits and pieces and starter things for all sorts of pieces of art, guys. I like it. Do you like it, Elliot? Yes, I do. Does it kind of remind you of the windows at church? Yeah, it does. Just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Is this a rock? They're all my rocks. Oh, heck. 
this is a big rectangle for us to it is it. i'm just kind of getting out the extra like moisture from the baby wipe So this looks nothing at all like what I had in my brain, but I really like how they turned out. Yep. So now I've got all these that I can use. I can just dry them up and then turn them into those cards. Yep, I like to use baby wipes on my cards. That really gives it a whole bunch of texture to them. Yeah, that, um, you know, little wrinkly feel. Yes. It's almost tough. Some of them are kind of tie-dyed looking. Yeah. I mean, those will make really pretty bases for some cards or other things. Okay, oh, that's a nice chunk of baby wipes. Okay, let's see if I can show you some of these. This is going to be that you got to give me a minute to figure out where to place my hands. Kind of cool, huh? I mean, in my head, I saw more of the yellow in the middle. Um, my baby wipes, gosh, I just grab whatever's whatever. <laughs> I, uh, I think those came from Walmart or Target. I'm not sure. We used to get them at uh, Costco. Pretty cool, huh? So you can see everything underneath. You can see the, the tissue paper. So I started with book text. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. So yeah, you can see I started with book text and then there's Tim Holtz tissue paper. I'll grab it to show you. It's, it had been in my stash forever. Forest in the last one. Which one? This one or this one? Left hand or right hand? Oh, there, yep. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of my path that I go and walk in the we have a the, um, electric company here by one of their big, huge, um, well, places where they have all the, the electric. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. We have an arboretum that's um, through the electric company, and they have a path, and I go walk the path a lot. All right. Well, yeah, these are I'm kind of wondering what I should put on here next. I think I might go around the edges. If I don't know what to do next, I go around the edges with my black ink pad. So 
so I think I'll do that next. Uh, actually, I'll add some splatters because I always add splatters. Um, and this really won't be seen a whole lot, probably, but just, just enough. I don't know if I really want to go over the top of it much. Maybe just a little, little, little bit. I don't want the center very dark. I'm trying to keep the center light. Yes, exactly, Elliot. See where the sun's at. These are our windows of light. my commentator this morning. I wish that you guys could see them the way I see them. I wonder if I shut my shade. That might help. I'll do that here in a second. Because it's flashed out just enough. These colors are a lot um, more rich. They're a lot deeper than what you all are seeing. shade see if that helps there is that better oh yeah that totally changed everything now you can see how I see them it's totally cloudy and gloomy outside but it's surprising how just shutting my shade Yeah. What do you think, buddy? I like them. Do you like them? Okay, good. I think we're going to put some splatters on there. Or we could put my trusty gold mica sparkly flakes. Hey, G. Check your email. Check my email? Yeah. I can't. Why? I need you. Uh-oh. Gracie's in the house. It's one o'clock. I know. <laughs> I'm sick and tired out. Thank goodness. Well, you have the girls' water so steady. Yeah, what am I supposed to see? What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Oh, uh, like well, I'll read it in a minute. I think it's so I can come in and get your books. All right. I'm sorry, you guys. Just a minute. We're checking for a school email here. Yeah, so you can pick up your books. Okay. You just go. <laughs> All 
All right. Amelia said school's canceled for like the rest of the year. Possibly. Okay, have I got a modeling pace making those dots? Are you talking to me? Is that a question for me? I know, I'm dying to go to Blix. I was there. Oh, gosh. Wow, I guess it's been a month since I was at Blix. And I didn't, I don't even think I bought anything. I just went. I like to go and go up and down each aisle. <laughs> I just I just look at everything and I touch things and I take pictures of just all of the colors because I love how everything is in rainbow color. And then I go stand in the golden aisle and just look at the golden paint that goes up so high that I can't reach the top shelf. And then I just, you know, luckily I do that so often and I've been in there so many times doing that that they, they know that it's me so they don't question my weird behavior when I'm in there because <laughs> I do a lot of times I don't buy a thing I have so much that I've you know bought over the past nine years that I've been doing this that I have actually been on no buy for a very, 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 very long time. So I won't buy anything unless I use use up that specific thing. And I know that I will, um, you know, that I'll use, use it again. So, um, cause I just have so much stuff and I just wasn't using any of it. Okay, well, I think, should I add some gold flake? They do kind of look very sci-fi. I mean, they really aren't, they're, they're more um, distressed than what I had in my mind. Um, I wasn't expecting what I had pictured, I wasn't expecting to see all of, so much of the first layers, but that's totally cool. I really like how they turned out. And I still think it kind of, well, they still go with what, you know, the windows of sunshine. There's still, there's light coming through the darkness and that, that's what I wanted to come out in these is that there's always light that comes through the darkness, so. Splatters. I always do white. Sometimes I do others. I need white. All right. Uh, let's see. A lot of times I, and I'm almost out of this, but for my splatters, I really like using Golden's airbrush paint. It's, it's already, you know, liquidy. It's already very watery. But this right here, I had just a bit of, um, of the white in here, so I added water in it, so. Okay, and I like using a fan brush. And let's see. I'm going to cover up a couple of things over here that I don't want paint getting splattered on. These are still a little bit tacky. All right. cover the whole card I'm kind of thinking maybe to try to keep it in the center keep it where the lights coming out of where the most of the color most of the lightness is coming out of so so 
sometimes if I really only want it in a certain area, I'll actually cover up the parts of parts of it that I don't want it to have splatters on it. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Let's see how this goes. Can y'all hear Elliot crunching on his potato chips? Try that and see how that works. If I want to add more, I'll add more. I just really want to keep it more centered to the middle. So tomorrow should we do a vlog video? You want to do a vlog tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> Elliot is dying to do a vlog, you guys. Comment in, comment if you want us to do a vlog. <laughs> Funny, I can hear the splatters like just hitting all around me on my work area. <laughs> Sounds like rain. We had a thunderstorm go through late last night, which was really nice actually. Just sitting there listening to the rain and the wind, the thunder it was very peaceful. So now the next big question then will be, should I leave these as is or should I put words on them? I don't know. Since it has a name already, I kind of wonder if I should not put anything on the front, any words on the front. I think the title on the back might say it all. with words. This one needs a little bit more. It's lacking. The tricky part is, is finding, um, you know, enough words to put on it. I'm really happy that I'm able to get these finished for you all. I think the timing's going to work just about perfect.
after I'm finished, I'll take them out on my deck and get some good pictures of them in the natural light. I'm kind of thinking maybe next to um, do a page in my junk journal. I haven't done any junk journal pages for a little while. I'll change things up a little bit here. I'll show you my junk journal here in a minute. It's a beast. I wasn't thinking when I made it. Um, I wasn't thinking at all when I made it. I got carried away putting in a lot of papers, pages in it. And um, it is thick. It's so thick that it doesn't close now. getting wet on the back, so it's starting to kind of make blurry spots. I don't want a blurry spot of paint. Um, when I made it, I really didn't know what I was going to use it for or how I was going to use it, and it has evolved into be very full of just all sorts of things. Whoa, Elliot, please be careful of the plant. That plant is, that plant's older than Abby. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I had a Christmas cactus that I bought when we were stationed in Little Rock, Arkansas at the Air Force Base. Oh, now the dog just knocked over a big thing of rocks. Uh, bye, Mary. Harper, I know that you like playing with rocks, but I don't think you should literally pull the whole entire box out. Yeah. I'm not really quite sure how that happened. Harper's getting how did, What happened? Harper literally needed the box all the way out here. Okay. I'm going to look at these and see if I want to add any more. This one still looks like it needs more. I've already put more on it. Like. Sure. Yes. All right. Yeah, that was more. Kind of like I like having big splatters with smaller splatters. Anyway, I've got this Christmas cactus that has been in the family for, well, my middle daughter's 22 now, and I know I had that plant before she was born, so. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah. Thank you, Janet. I don't know if I'll still be here when you get back. I'm just about done. Thanks for spreading the word that I'm here. You actually really like them? Well, yeah, thank it looks you. like they're um, glowing more, right? Yes, to kind of put a whole new level of something on them. All right. Maybe. Dang it. Let's see. I'm going to get my gate ready now. They almost kind of look um, like a... Uh, what? I'm going to show you this. Watch out for the dog. They almost kind of look like a galaxy or a nebula type thing. Hey, nebula, nebby, nebby from uh, Pokemon. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. Have a wonderful day too. This one's really cool. I mean, they're all cool, but each of them has like a little bit of them that is different about them, right? Yes. 
They're all the same yet totally different. And completely different from the set of cards that I did the other day. Totally different color scheme. Lost track of how many I've made. Uh, what made them? Oh, let me show you. Just one second. I'll show the rest of these really quick and I'll show you what all I've used. This one's pretty where the dark orange is coming out. Well, this has helped with my shakiness. I don't feel as shaky as I was when I first started. I was really, really shaky. There's a good, a good look. Let's see if I can do this so you can get up close. There. Layers and layers and layers and layers. Okay, so um, first layer, I always work on 300 pound cold pressed watercolor paper. So that's what all the bases are. And then, then I just, Tore up a bunch of pieces of book text. I like to grab my books at Half Price Bookstore for a dollar. So nice big paperback. This one's nice because um, it's yellowed around the edges, so that's always cool. So I put just torn up pieces of paper, and then just got some glue or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then I um, cut up, this is Tim Holtz. I'm almost 100% sure this is Tim Holtz tissue paper. I don't know, I've had it in my stash forever and it hasn't been in the packaging, so. I'm pretty sure this is Tim Holtz and I just cut it into strips and laid it across the cards like this. You know, I, I changed where I put it. Some of them I did this way, but each one of these has just one strip of tissue paper. Oh, here's my stuff. And then I thought that I bought some more modeling paste. I like Golden's modeling paste, but I had some of this, so it's uh, dimensional effects texture, texture paste and I used it through a stencil so here's the stencil I used and I think this is just plaid I probably got it at Walmart it had like four different you know Four different sheets and each one has a different pattern on it so that's that's what gave it the most texture and then I did what four colors of paint uh, four colors whoops four colors of golden And then I went over that with some flutes. I cut them to size at the very beginning. So I just go through um, and cut up. I try to keep 
um, blanks ready all the time. So I, this was a, a really big, huge sheet of watercolor paper. So I just cut it. I go ahead and cut them all into size and start with them already cut at the very, very, very beginning. Is that what you are asking? that shut. It has wet paint in it. Ooh. <clears throat> I love the blue. The blue. And it's really, it's, you know, it actually came out really dark. This one you can kind of see it lighter. So, Elliot put my cards in this little box. I don't know if they're going to come out. So yeah, here's everything that we've made the past couple days. Lots of color, lots of color, lots of texture. Oh wow. I like having mine already cut to size um, because I like I like things coming off the edges. Um, so if I have you know paper or if I tear paper and put it on and it's coming off the edges, I like I like leaving that on there. I like the rough edges of things. I don't um, it doesn't have to be like totally smooth. Like even here, you can this is. Um, the edge of the tissue paper because I, I, what I did with the tissue paper is, well, what do they do with those little strips? I need to be careful having these all together on each other. I don't want them, they're not 100% dry. So what I did was I just laid the tissue paper out like this and then glued one down and I left it on there and then I glued one down and left it on there and I just kind of did it in a big chain and that way the glue, the glue softened up the tissue paper and then I just pulled them apart and left whatever whatever was on the edge. So that's kind of where all of that comes from. And I like that. I like it being rough and not a clean edge. So that's that's why they're not. And I, I wouldn't be able to do that if I, you know, did one big sheet and then cut them to size. I did do that once. And plan on doing it again. You know, we should, that could be something that we could do for a stream. I have on a whim, I picked up this big, huge pad of watercolor paper. So it's 18 by 24. It's ginormous. And um, Gracie, can you turn that down for a minute, please? I use painter's tape and just, you know, glued it down, glued. I taped it down to my work area and measured it off to where I was, the open, the open squares of paper were five by seven. Elliot's playing a game now and he's talking, so it's gonna, it's gonna get noisy, so I apologize. So I put the big piece of watercolor paper down so it looked like yeah, it was friendly. like this with strips of, this is a whole sheet of paper. And then it had the tape down, separating it into these squares. And I painted the entire sheet all at the same time. 
um, you know, glue things down, scribble, did texture paste, things like that. So the whole piece was covered and then I took the tape off and cut it into the five by seven pieces. So that's something that we can do. So I ended up with all of these. I, and it was the first time I had done something like that and it was really fun. I have one more and it's actually at my, at my work on my locker. I have one at my work on my locker. So that's something fun that we could do. I'd have to figure out how to do the camera because the piece of paper is big. So, um, so yeah. Yep. So this was the sheet, minus one, the one that I have at work. But that was a, like a quick way to, you know, make a whole bunch of pieces of art um, on one big sheet of paper. So. All right. So I think we're going to be done with these. I know my husband's going to be here soon. It's hard for me to work that big. My work area is actually a kitchen countertop. Elliot, just a minute. My work area is a kitchen countertop placed on top of two kitchen cabinets. So I've got a cabinet on each side. So my, it's, it's not wide. So um, without my camera here, it's doable. It takes up the whole space, but um, that, I think that would actually be something really fun that we could do anytime. Uh-oh. It was backwards up there. Oh, jeez. You guys, everything's starting to fall to pieces. The dog spilled all the rocks. Elliot almost knocked over the plant. Gracie just took a bag of crackers out of the box and the bag was in upside down and the crackers just spilled all over the floor. <laughs> See, we do need to do a daily vlog. This is what happens in my daily life. Oh my god, it's like half the bag. I don't care, I'm still eating them. <laughs> well, I just swept, so the floor should be okay. <laughs> Elliot! Elliot, come in here. Okay, well, thank you everybody. I'm glad you were able to come over for a while. Um, I will be streaming as often as I possibly can. From now until the extended future. Uh, we don't know if our kids are going back to school. I work at my kids' school, so um, no school, no work, so I'm here. And I am intending to use all of that time for as much good as possible. So if my being on here and streaming helps brighten your day, then that's the only thing that's really important to me right now. So. Um, let's see, it's, I think Beck, Becky's streaming next, later at 4 Eastern, 3 Eastern, I don't know everybody's schedule, so, um, I just need to find some words for these, I don't know if I'm going to put words on these, I might not, I really like the Windows of Sunshine idea, so I'll write that on the back. Um, hey Jess, how are you? Gosh, all these faces from long, long ago. Oh man, I miss streaming all the time, you guys. I really do. Going back to work just really caused a lot of... You know, it's been a lot to adjust to, so, and this, having creative time, and the worst part is that with being, cooking, with working in the kitchen, you know, every day I'm cooking food for 750 kids, and man, the last thing that I want to do when I get home is cook dinner for anybody else, so it's been hard for me to get it back into a routine, um, just with everything, so. Let's see, I don't know, I'll put like, trying to maybe get a sampling of each card set out here. 
Oh, I was going to show you my junk journal. I'll show you my junk journal real quick, and then if that's something that we want to work on next, we can do um, a junk journal page. And then the other thing that we can do is maybe a big sheet. We can do a big watercolor sheet. Um, and that would be fine. Now I have all sorts of baby wipes that are covered with paint. I've got several pieces of um, deli paper that are covered just with what I worked on these past couple days. So those are, that's a sampling of the, all the cards I've made. Oh, I guess you can do it. You just got to get out of your head. <laughs> Your, your Copic marker skills are off the charts. Yes, I just, okay. I, I'm gonna go and I am just I'm gonna absolutely go and... amazed every single time I see one of your cards. Absolutely amazed. Yeah, you do. Okay, I'm going to show you my junk journal really fast. And then if that's something we want to work in. We can do that. Harper's enjoying all the crackers spilt on the floor. Now I don't have to worry about sweeping. Okay, so here's my junk journal. Oh, are you doing them Erkies? When it first started. It looked like this. So, Join me right now. and it has morphed into this, but I made these at the no, same I same time, put two together, yeah. way too many pieces of paper, which I have learned. I still probably, I counted once because I was curious, and I think I still have See? like 50 pages in this that don't have anything on them. I haven't decided I if I'm going to try to do something on all those pages or not because it's really it's it's to the point to where I have to whatever I'm gonna put on here I have to do the bulk of it on here and then adhere it into here because it's just I can't I can't work on it but this is my junk journal at first I didn't have a cover on it this one didn't it was like this this is just a calendar page um, but I ended up, it was getting a little, a little rough. So this is, um, just a piece of, this is just a piece of kind of like thick, it's thick paper with working in a kitchen and all of the food that we get, um, things come in boxes. A lot of times there's, there's pieces of paper separating layers of, of things like, uh, layers of like the little mixed fruits and frozen cups of sherbet and things like that yes. and I cannot See throw anymore? those away so I have a very oh, huge yeah. stack of paper here at home of this so I think I'm going to make journals out of um, but so anyways this is my junk journal Table. so if that's something okay. that Elliot I need you to hug for just a second sorry you guys um, if this is something that you want to work in we can for sure do that um, but yes it is it is the fluffiest thing I've ever created, but it has just like all sorts of things. This is the Altoids, the little paper from Altoids, there's doilies, um, I've been using pieces of ribbon, um, and lace, and yarn, there's pieces of fabric, a lot of the pictures that I use, um, I find on Pinterest and print out. Um, this is from a, a field notes, little field notes thing that you get with your field notes journal. Um, there's, there's just every, anything and everything has kind of made its way in here. This is Joss paper. Uh, I've got printed vellum, transparencies, 
just this is a tea bag. A round tea bag. Elliot is nine. So yeah, this is a round tea bag, and then I've got a little tag that slips in it. So adding all of these elements has made it very thick. I think he's playing Fortnite, so that's why he's talking a lot. A seed packet. A lot. Of, I use a lot of clothing tags. Um, this is a clothing tag, and I like leaving the ribbons on him. Just all sorts of stuff. I've got a few pictures of me in it. But see, like this, I could leave that and not put anything on it at all. Um, this is a the wrapper from Chopsticks, and I've got a little bit of hidden journaling in there. Fabric, more Joss paper. So yeah, tea bags. But it's it's a beast. Like this is one page. Look how thick that is. <laughs> this is one page. Yep. Yes, it is me, Eileen. <laughs> it is me. I was telling Jess, it's kind of crazy. A lot of these old faces coming back. I actually really like the scratch. And hey, Elliot's right. still in the background, just like he was nine years ago. Instead of him crying and wanting to be fed, he's playing you Fortnite. I was just showing my junk journal. Just kind of trying to think of things to do um, in the future. Things to do Don't here. Because I've got a lot of free time we now. We just need to change that to this scratch. This is all tangled up perfect. in here. Just pretend it's scratch instead of April, okay? I don't know why that's done that. Yeah, maybe you can. These are the tags from tea yeah. bags. I just I leave things hanging out. And this one's connected to this tea bag right here. I am not hacking Foxy, I'm Freddy. Yep, some things never change. <laughs> that is the truth. This is just a wad of I make I I make kombucha. This is a wad of tags from the tea that was all tinkled up, so I just stapled it on there. This is being very difficult. Oh, there. Okay. So, yeah, this is something we can work on if we want to. Very, very thick. Here's a Linder chocolate wrapper. I guess I don't have like a lot of junky junk junk stuff in it, but. Just kind of, kind of whatever that spills out in here. And there's some pretty heavy stuff in here, so. But I do have. I, I just don't know. I don't know if I can do. If I, it's you know physically that, possible for this journal to handle me doing every single page in it. This right here is from a pair of socks. Just the tag. Like, at least you get to plane, but come on. But I think this is one thing that I want to create and sell in my shop, which I've been working on. Wait, I'm gonna take my mic off. Working on working on my Etsy shop. Finally, something I've wanted to do for years and years and years. Um, this is the last page that I did. This one right here. And this is a clothing oh, tag. Not yet, no, the so, yeah. No, because it's paper. So. That's it. It's a beast. I love it. I love it. I, I absolutely love this. If I decide to send this in um, to Stampington, this one's going to be hard to send in. 
because you don't know how long you don't first of all you don't know if they're gonna publish it and sec you just don't know how long they're gonna keep it they keep stuff they keep stuff until they publish it so it's like my Etsy shop is not up yet I need to um I need to understand and learn about the whole shipping part of it as far as you know calculating shipping and things like that um so and i when i first signed up to etsy good golly years and years and years and years ago i had put in a shop a shop name then and i cannot get that removed from my profile so it's I can't attach my, like, if you go to my pro profile page, it has the name of that old shop. I don't know how to change that. And from what I've researched, you can't. I'm in the lobby, so, um, that's kind of, okay, it's kind of held me up now. and stopped me from moving forward. And Let's get the heck I need out. to, um, I need to figure that out because I got, I, no I got the photo box, um, to take, you know, photos in of everything. I've got, you know, a few things. I need to start making things also. So I, I have a lot of things that I can do with all my free time that I have now. But um, that's kind of, that's kind of, that's where I'm at. I'm stuck. But I did get my business cards made. I kind of had a, just all of a sudden it kind of hit me with what I wanted to do for my logo and I just got my business cards not long ago which is really really crazy to see this that it's real because this is like something that I've wanted to do for years and just never never thought that I could or I my self-doubt was holding me back big time um so yeah so here's my my business card I call so the logo idea is actually from there's a I saw a tattoo that's basically the half flowers and half butterfly and since I have always used butterflies in my collage and and everything else yeah, okay. I knew least, that um, I had to have a butterfly in there somehow and after I saw that tattoo it just kind of couldn't get it out of my mind and I thought you know I need to represent collage also so that's why I got the scissors in there so the scissors are part of the wings and then the paintbrush is um, part of the body so and I had someone on Fiverr do it she was absolutely amazing um, she listened to all of my ideas and you know, just wanted to, did everything she could to no. make what I had envisioned come to be. And I had actually, when I had these made, when she, when she did everything for me, I yeah. still had Packer Die as my YouTube. And after all was said and done and it was all finished, oh, yeah. um, I finally decided to switch my YouTube channel to my business name, to Diane Fago Art, instead of hey, Pack or Die, and home. she, for no charge, she changed, she changed all this for me so that I could have it say Diane Fago Art and get my business cards finally made. No. So yeah, this was huge, and I like it took me a long time to finally get here, and then I kind of, I kind of stopped, <laughs> and I need to get back on that momentum. Um, to keep moving forward because that whole part with having this old studio name being stuck to my Etsy, I let that stop me and I need to, I need to set that aside and get back on target so that I can get, because that right now that's one of the things that's just kind of holding me back. So, um, it was extremely nice of her. So, um she's like no problem she's like it's super easy to fix and it took her like two seconds and she fixed it and immediately sent me the new file so um i had a wonderful experience doing that i had never used anyone on fiverr before or anything like that it was very reasonable 
Um, I she did. Well, any of the graphics that you see now on my Facebook page, um, on my Twitter, on here at YouTube, the banners, all of those things were part of my package. So besides that, I have the logos. I have a circle logo. Um, so I was able to order some stickers. I even have like letterhead and envelopes and just things that I, you know, wouldn't have even thought of. So here's my stickers. Okay, where are That's the exciting. Over here? It just really kind of, yes, it made it real. When I got these, it's like, oh crap, <laughs> wait a minute, you know, am I, am I ready for this? But I know that I am, so I just got to get out of my head. That's, that's what's holding me back, so. Anyways, and I just got these done at Moo. But, okay, so. Oops. Thank you, everybody. I will let you go. I'm going to go try to finish cleaning up some more things before my mom gets here. I'm not going to put words on these. I might probably gonna put some words on these and then just start sending stuff out so that's what I'm making these stories to send out to people it's not a swap it's not an RA well it's an RAK it is not a swap um, I'll post on my Instagram um, that I have cards right now since i'm not working <laughs> i'm gonna have to keep it to the united states i have no paycheck um but i just really felt the need to do something to well spread some light light and love so um i apologize if you're out of the united states and i can't send one to you hopefully after things calm down and I can afford to do that, I will, but I am going to give all these away, I'm just going to keep them, as long as there's people wanting some, I'm going to keep on making them, so, I just got out of focus, so yeah, thanks everybody, I'll take some pictures of these, I'll put them on my Instagram, so everybody can see, and hopefully I'll be back tomorrow, I don't know, just kind of depends things are going on here um, everybody's home so it can be noisy like it's starting to get now so and I'm trying not to um, you know I'm trying not to stream when I know other people stream so um, wow that's really blurry sorry um, anyways why I talk with my hands a lot don't I <laughs> I hope you all are doing well and um, thank you for being here with me today. This is a safe place to be. Like I said at the beginning of my stream, any of these, um, there's no talk about anything that's going on. It's just not going to happen here. Um, I need a place where I can be where it's, I just needed a safe place to be to where I can create. And I want to um make an offer and have a safe place for other people to be also where none of this other stuff that's going on is discussed whatsoever that's my only the only thing that i ask with all of this is that you just respect my need for that and everybody else's i there's nothing more important right now than for people to just step away from a lot of this and remember what's important so we all need to be here for each other, and um, yeah, so get off my soapbox, get off my soapbox, I love everybody, I miss everybody, and hopefully I'll be seeing you in other people's streams, because I can do that now, so lots and lots and lots of hidden blessings in all of this, um, keep your eyes out for them, they are there, there's always light, and woo, um, 
if I don't know what's going on. So I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Bye-bye. I've got to get my step stool so I can stand up here oh and my turn God, off my phone. So I will see you guys later. Bye, everybody. I love you.